This is the Geeked Out Show Where the car collecting, toy investing Geeked Out Show got the blessings crazy This is the Geeked Out Show Where the comic book reading or anime watching Geeked Out Show got the options crazy We all here, it's your one-stop shop We geek in, we geek out 24 on the clock Whether if you're comic book reading or anime watching Geeked Out Show's got the options Dropping every single moment Get a deeper focus Reminisce toys you never know Notice different views to go with Different type of nerd issues to nerd tissues Black holes had to pay those dues So know the difference Understand the contest clues We on a mission From the Barbies to the Lego dude We got a vision Safe place for respectable cues From a real fan Not ones that's active reviews So beyond that Don't get the dust cap It's all love But where your geek of steam at Relax While we sip on the Epto Cool I know a place most deaf won't lose you And here it is Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Gil from Black Hole Comics, and I'm here with a special guest. We got Daker, the toy maker from Almighty Legends. All right. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks for having me on. Really appreciate it. Taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Appreciate you coming on. Yeah. So how's it going? I hear that you got a, a little update. Yeah, so things are going really well. Uh, right now, we're starting to go into production um, and tooling, getting uh, the final checks and changes made to the figures, trying to figure out uh, what we're going to be producing for the first two with uh, with Death and um, Gabriel. So, oh. oh, no, 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 I was I was talking to my daughter. That's why I muted myself. Sorry, because <laughs> she's over here munching on hot Cheetos. Oh, nice. and he's like, whoosh, whoosh. Sorry. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're stomping upstairs. So, <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. Good. But yeah, so we're doing. Uh, so Gabriel and Azriel, they're going to be going into production uh, and tooling right now, and we're working on uh, final checks for also for the um, the packaging as well. Um, that's another big thing that we're working on, and then just a few other like kind of updates where we're at right now with the whole process, and a few big announcements we're we're, we're going to be working on. Over the summer and then the, the, the months to come as we're going into production as well. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <Order> notes. <laughs> so, uh, when are you expecting uh, to um, to get these out? Just uh, real quick, has there been has there been any changes in the time frame that you had? Yeah. So I think it's going to be just knocking curious. out what if we can get. The first order, like the first wave is what I'm kind of working on right now, trying to decide like what's going to be in that first wave, which right now we're looking at almost like nine to 10 SKUs because it's going to be the two main figure and they'll have three blanks and then we'll have the wing packs, but also we'll have the the armor packs as well. Oh gosh, Um, nice. And I'm trying to decide how do I sell that to a retail store um, where... There's not too many figures to be made, but there's going to be a lot more opportunity for like game stores and like um, like gamers and, and paint like uh, hobby stores. Um, yeah, so like uh, actually, for like D and D and stuff like that, right? Like, right. Uh, yeah. so like a game like shop a, type of thing. Yeah, so I think that's where those are going to be more game tor- uh, geared towards, and then Sweet. the figures. But the actual production will probably hopefully get us sooner than uh, December of next year. That was my goal. So yeah, Thanks. we're going to be a lot. I think everything will go quicker just because I, if it's not going to be too many in the wave. So yeah. and the second wave will include the will be like the next part, which will be the uh, the other horsemen and the other three archangels. Nice. So we Very nice. We have a pre order store going on right now for for everything. With Sweet. The kit, so that'll be awesome. Uh, did you want to go ahead and get into what you sent me over? Yeah. 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 Let's okay, do it. Let me go ahead and. Uh... Let's see. Do it this way. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Cool. Um, so you want to go ahead and start off with this first one? Yeah. So um, we are now looking at working on um, something that was suggested to me by uh, River Swift uh, uh, Customs. Um, right now, it's these. What you're looking at are halos. These would actually plug into the back of the figure where the uh, the wings are, where the wings go in, and these will be behind it. And we'll have a have a halo. That's, that's go behind the figure. That's brilliant. So, 
are these just the three are there going to be three different variations or three possible different looking halos like so is I'm, it just going to be one so these are just kind of like basic designs that the guys that we're working on right now just to kind of see okay how what's the placement going to look like mm -hmm. but um no i, I wanted i really want to do seven okay again to correlate with the, the four horsemen and the three archangels as well but also mm -hmm. the seven um archangels that we had you know, uh, mythical lore and stuff like that so sweet yeah i do so gotta say had... like i'm digging this this is pretty cool and that, that'll be kind of cool that it's like seven unique different types and then you could do the different translucent and different colors and yeah. if you wanted to do something crazy like that you know but yeah but it'll I'm, be a little I'm more digging this kind of, it's not gonna be like these cartoony designs i want more yeah. like kind of real ones and like yeah. with wings and like um more more crazy and intricate that's cool i was hoping like i could just go to the next one but unfortunately <laughs> i didn't sit, set it up like a slideshow yeah. so then we'll just go up like by each one that's fine yeah so this one uh we're working on a, a t-shirt for uh for PowerCon. um oh sweet yeah so basically it's like the floor heralds like the herald like we'll have like a team of people that will have free t-shirts um i'm gonna be giving away and basically helps uh bring people to the booth to find out more about almighty legends and so oh, we're just kind of working on some t-shirt designs for that that's awesome that's cool so you're going to be at PowerCon, sweet yeah we'll be at PowerCon. yep we're going to be right next to uh right across from um uh savage crucible oh sweet okay cool let's go we had them on two uh let's see this oh this yeah this is a surf seraphim right seraphim yep. head it was a seraphim. Oh There's my a, gosh, that is insane! So what I've decided I'm going to be doing for mm -hmm. um this uh, is for the all in backers that did the um like the first tier all in, which is the um to get everything. I'm going to actually instead of giving you an STL file, I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a print. Oh, to go, with it, to go with it that way you don't have to mess with the printing and stuff like that. You can just get a print, and then you'll actually have a um, an actual head that you can put on your figure. Um, I'm also going to offer to them um, the other two heads for like, um, I think it was like $45 or $40. I don't know how much it is, but that way you can have all three of them. Oh, that's cool. That way everybody can have the, the three, the three heads, the three, three seraphim heads. Yeah, as heads. long as you were like the, uh, one of the all one backers to kind of give them more of like a an incentive or, a, you know, exclusive. You. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so those really are going to be coming out hopefully next week, and then I'm going to be able to get those out to everybody. Do you have any? Uh, do you have one for yourself painted up, possibly? Well, so that's that's my issue right now. Is um, I sent one, sent my only ones I I had out to a guy named uh, Mark K, or Mark Kai, I think it is. Um, mm -hmm. Collect uh, uh, Mark Kai Lab Creations. He's on. Uh, oh Instagram. yeah. Yeah, but I, I I sent him out back in March, and I haven't heard from him since since May. Uh -huh. So I'm just I'm worried. So, but don't don't be well worried. I know he's an artist, and that's how kind of everybody you know yeah. we get bogged down with it. So I'm yeah, but he, luckily I have these ones coming, so I can at least paint one of them. <laughs> yeah, he's he's yeah. a good dude. So yeah, no, just, I know. I, I hope you don't think that he bird. he took off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Okay, so these are actually um, these are the the sculpts that we're working on for famine. Um, I'm just kind of show, show like the progress of this one sculptor who kind of approached me and says, "Hey, I really want to try to help and also uh, hone my craft as a sculptor." I said, "Sure, why not? Help me out. Let's work on it." Um, and just showing the kind of like the progress of, of how much he kind of you know evolved as a as a sculptor artist. I really kind of pushed him to to create something pretty amazing. Um, Dude, With that is wicked and gnarly. Yeah. I gotta say, like the thing that it looks like a face on, like as like a sh like on the, the shoulder arm. Like, yeah. So that will actually uh, come shit. off, and you will put that on the blank figures. So the blank Damn. figures, you'll they don't have a face, and you'll yeah. be able to slide those over it, so you'll have that on as the face. So it'll have like a mask from, from the uh, what? Salmon, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and then that shit. the helmet that's the helmet's removable, and you'll have that kind of like that greasy elfin look to it, and you'll have like like a nasty grimace. Oh, okay, so you'll be able to go to have this or this. Yeah, so this that, will that's be kind of like what's oh, underneath. Here, but, wow, yeah. 
That's crazy. So, uh, are you guys going to be doing like a more uh, pliable plastic to go over, like a silicone type of thing? Oh yeah, yeah, like no, overlay. Be, yeah, it's going to be um, like I said, it's, it's manufactured, so we're, it's going to be you know rubbery, like real. Yeah, gotcha. Because I was like, ooh, that's going to yeah, need no, some no, flex no, this, to it. Yeah, this will be real, you know, injection molding and stuff like that. Okay, so this is something we're also working on right now. Is um. These are uh, collector coins, uh, discount mm. coins. Um, we're going to be having a, a charity figure that I'm working on. Oh, okay. Um, the charity figure is going to be a limited edition Gabriel. Um, it's going to be a bronzed uh, painted version of him. Oh, that's and cool. What we're going to be doing. Yeah, and also because, you know, I got third place in the uh, Kickstarter there. <laughs> oh. We had the Savage Crucible Biblical Adventure. So that'd be oh, cool. gosh. Yeah. But also, yeah, bronze, just a cool, like, statue-looking one. Um, but we're going to make – what we're doing is only 650 of them will be made available to the public to buy. Oh, but we're going to okay. have an additional 350 of them made because my allocation is 1,000. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have 350 extra ones made, and those will all be given away to uh, Toys for Tots and uh, local uh, toy drives. That is cool. It's sort of a – and then we're having an incentive where it's you buy two of them, and you give away it's like buy two give away one so for every two yeah. you get one gets given away or you could buy two and give away one whatever it is but on top of that you're gonna get um a coupon a little uh wooden nickel with your order so you'll get a little wooden nickel and you get um if you only buy, if you buy one of them you'll get a uh, 10 percent off the future purchase you buy two you get 20 and then the 350 that are gonna get them the the kids that get those they're gonna get 25 percent off Oh, so that's cool. Five percent off coin, and they'll also get um, if they want to sign up for uh, sort of our um, newsletter and also a, a giveaway. And then they can uh, when they go to shows and stuff like that. If I'm at a show and they're there, they can um, get like a free some free swag, like a T-shirt or something. So we'll be doing that for them. Dude, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and I think that's. Okay. Those are yeah, photos. Yep. The gotcha. other big things to kind of talk about that we're going to be doing, um, that I'm kind of be working on for was on Sunday, is um, we just start. I just signed up with a with a an artist uh, slash writer named uh, um, D Brady Art. Uh, he's sort of he's a published artist and he's in the he's very big in like the uh, the biblical like Bible um, literature uh, side of things. And he's going to actually help me write a eight page um, comic book, kind of oh. a side story based on uh, Almighty Legends. That'll be cool. That's pretty then, awesome. Like a companion yeah. piece. And then uh, Giannis uh, Rubis, he worked on, uh, he's a sculptor. He worked on um, Savage Crucible. Um, Rob, the guy who, who runs Savage Crucible, introduced me to him. And he's going to actually help me work on a mini comic that's going to come with the figures, kind of like the old He Man figures okay. so we'll have like a little like almost like a catalog to kind of introduce the uh, the characters and then also have like a little checklist at the at the back or something like, like that. what's what's to come and what's, what's to come like yeah. in the future waves and stuff like that that's cool yeah that's awesome you know and then do uh do a book for this wave do a book for the next wave and, right you know so on so on. Dude, yeah that, we're that gonna is try awesome. to do a kickstarter i think hopefully in like september um for the comic book it'll be like the first eight pages be like an eight page comic um the story is going to be based on kind of like a an adventure like epic story that takes place um 15 to thirty thousand years ago during the the crossing of the uh the bering sea bridge but it's going to have this more like a cool like mythical like mystical element to it where um michael is is sent down by god to kind of protect the uh the humans um, from like these three like major like monsters, so yeah. I can't wait for, wait for that. So is there going to be yeah. just physical, or are you going to possibly do digital as well? Or oh, it'll be digital and physical for for the comic digital yeah. and physical. And then is it only going to be the mini, or are you planning to do like a no, full no, no, size? Sorry. There's, there's okay. two different projects. One oh, is two different. Okay. Comic. The mini sorry comic will be just like a three to five page like kind of introduction show like. Okay, here's the figure. Always oh, putting on his armor, the you know, and kind of like getting ready for the final battle between you know light over shadow, 
and yeah. then it will be um then like it'll be an like an introduction to kind of like the story the actual story itself that's going to be later on and that will be a comic book slash uh graphic novel so you basically you're going to be buying up to okay. i think it's like eight st- eight to ten stories which will eventually become like uh eight, 70 64 to 72 pages oh so okay, graphic gotcha. novel so now that, that yeah. we can sell like uh book shows and put it in a comic book show you know comic book stores or hobby lobby stuff like that so thank you for clarifying because i was like wait so yeah so sorry yeah it's like just gonna different. be the tiny ones okay <laughs> yeah. gotcha i mean not that there's anything wrong with like uh you know tiny comics or anything like that but i was just like wait like what okay oh, yeah. gotcha thank you for clarifying i appreciate yeah. that and then do you have any um artists or anybody that you've approached yet for the project like for variants or anything like that are you um, are you even planning on variants nothing I, I, yet planned okay i mean i, I probably will reach out to some for like variant covers stuff like that um and yeah so the d brady um he is actually uh he's been around for for quite a few years he worked with uh with marvel and has uh with toy biz on the old mm. marvel um figures oh, okay so gotcha. he has like experience with that then he also just works on um publications and like uh children's stories stuff like that so he'll be the main kind of illustrator for the first eight pages or for the storyline and but i want to have like i would love to have other artists say you know if you're taking any recommendations i know a couple people okay like, yeah uh, christopher okay. christopher williams he worked with the uh tribal force kickstarter uh comic i don't know if you're familiar with that but mm-hmm. i promoted them and i had them on uh okay. he does amazing stuff you know uh, and then also one of my ex co-hosts, uh, Seth, he does, uh, he recently did his own Kickstarter that was successful. And then he's done, um, he did a variant for scout comics for one of their issues. I can't remember what it was, but, uh, he's getting into the comic book game as well. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Nice. So I'll send you over their information if, you know, yeah. if and when. Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, hopefully it's going to start, I'm trying to collate, uh, not cool, but I'm trying to make it so that it works round PowerCon. Got so we you. have it all together. So that's that's the big show that you're trying yeah, to make sure that time. everything's ready and going for and pushing for. Got you. Yeah. So I got a few shows kind of lined up for the summer to kind of um, keep us going. But then, yeah, PowerCon will be kind of like the big push at the end. Got you. Got you. All right. Are well, you planning on going to uh, Legion's Con? Just kind of curious. No, not this year. Um, not this just, year. Okay. The problem I have is I don't have any products. It's really uh, got you, so got it's you. like i pay all this money just to have a booth and i'd be either selling like my own collectibles or i'm just <laughs> selling yeah. the idea <laughs> got you all right yeah. yeah maybe the year after that once uh we're a little bit closer to that oh, launch yeah. and release then you know have a couple there and you know i'm sure that people would go crazy for like the figures the armor yeah. the the wings and everything oh man like yeah once we have that product, would be primo yeah. for yeah. you yeah i can't wait it's gonna be big yeah, I, I'm 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 happy to hear all this and like, thank you for reaching out about the update oh, yeah, and everything yeah. else like that. Do you yeah, have I mean, any? You guys always, you know, you've been there since the beginning, so you always help me out. So, <laughs> hey, I I try. Uh, what's it called? Do you have any other updates or is that it? Um, I mean, I'm just looking at my notes here. Yeah, uh, no worries. Take your coins. Time. Yeah, do, do, do. Which oh, I think is a great. Um, um, that, I think that's a great idea too. Like, because people like physical little things that they can have on their display. Just something kind of different, yeah. you know. But then the fact that you also get, you know, a ten percent off thing. That's pretty cool as well. Yeah. No, the other um, thing was um, right now with the the bases because we're shrinking the the base of the, the figures yes. that are going to be coming on. Um, I am going to be working on getting it so that you have a. Um, uh, a figure holder. I don't know what you call it. um the the what you call it the little stand the little stick the little stand thing yeah yeah got you I know, I know what you're talking about yeah the yeah got you yeah. the little arm of it yeah yeah so this will actually plug into the the back of the base dude that's yeah that's sweet yeah so they can have them in flight that's that's pretty cool. And then uh, the only other thing is oh, pre-orders. Um, just to make sure they kind of push the pre-orders store right now, just so we can get the uh, the numbers up. Um, yeah. And then I seen uh, you guys are on BBTS as well right now, right? But would yes. you prefer them to pre-order? Um, where, I think where should they go instead? They should go to the factory kit or BBTS right now. Uh, okay. The, 
be, next week I'm going to be opening it up the other figures to BBTS and um, the other retailers. That way we can sort of really kind of push the um, pre-orders, and I will be able to get, I'll hopefully get the numbers that we need mm-hmm. for uh, the other figures. So if they didn't get in on the initial Kickstarter, they can't go to the back backer kit, correct? They would have they to can. order their B- – oh, they can go they to can. the backer yeah, kit. So backer kit is okay. set up. I have a pre-order store on backer kit. Okay, gotcha. So you gotcha. can okay. still go Perfect. on there. Yeah, and you can still go on there. Still go on to Backer Kit uh, pre-order store, and you can actually get um, Asriel and Gabriel, and then also um, do a pre-order system for um, kind of like what Mythic Legions does for uh, for Michael, Raphael, and the Four Horsemen. So, oh, along okay. with all the other kits, everything's available right now on the Backer Kit. It's just a matter of getting the numbers is what we're doing. It's, it's like a Kickstarter, but it's it's individualized kind of Kickstarter. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm going to – I'll send you a message after this so I can get the link, and then I'll put oh, it yeah. in this video. Perfect. So just in case anybody that missed out on the Kickstarter, which, you know, I don't know why you did, but, you know, kind of like a second yeah. chance in a way, you know, go, go to the backer kit. Yeah. Not that BBTS is a bad option. We love BBTS, oh, no. but get it directly from you. That that'd be a whole hell of a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> thank you. It's only forty five dollars on my site, where it's fifty four dollars on their site. But I'm gonna save yourself like, some money, guys. Yeah, Come on. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, uh, other than that, I'm... Let's see. crap, I can't bring it up. Okay, yeah, I'll just make sure to grab the link and I'll put it down below. Um, okay. Anything else, Victor? I'm I'm good. I'm good for that. Yeah. Okay, Brent, so I'll, I'll, go, other <laughs> I'll go ahead and call it here. Um, okay. Thank you guys for stopping by. Make sure to also go over to Dakers' uh, Instagram page at the uh, Almighty Legends. I'll go ahead and put that in there as well. So I'll have the Instagram, and then I'll have the backer kit, and then fuck it, I'll just throw in the BBTS because why not? Because some people, oh, yeah. you know, they like BBTS as well. So I'll have all three links in there. Um, yeah, make sure that you guys give them a follow. Do you have any shout outs or anything else that you'd like to do? Um, yeah, I mean, gosh, there's so many. Uh, this weekend, um, we're going to be going on with, um, let's see, we have yeah, Benny Blanco, uh, Yimbo. Uh, Benny Blanco is the Lazy um, lazy Boy Customs, I believe, or Lazy uh, Boy Collectibles. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy Boy Sundays. Yes. Okay, Lazy Boy Sundays. That's where yep. you'll be at this weekend. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, Yimbo uh, reviews everything. Uh, that will also be on Sunday. And then uh, shout out to um, Stefan Allen, who's been helping me kind of with that T-shirt idea with the uh, with the Gabriel shirt. Yeah, that's um, sweet. Ozzy 88, just for you know listening to me and helping me with ideas. Um. And then, yeah, just unboxing art and River Swift comics. A whole bunch of people to thank. Um, Tristan, the sculptor that I've been working with. Yeah. Yeah. So, whole bunch and then uh, I, I would also say, probably like just a personal suggestion, like um, whatever cons you plan on going, maybe just like um, mapping them out or putting announcing them, just say, like, hey, oh, yeah. we'll be over there gonna, type of thing. More of a local stuff that I have coming up in June is. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a GI Joe collectors uh, collectors. Is it the Joe Fest, right? Is it that not one? Joe Fest? That's this. Oh, week. okay, sorry. But yeah, this is like okay. kind of a local one that we have, but they only charge oh, like okay. twenty five bucks a table. So that's not bad. <laughs> oh. Shit, you can't beat that. No, you that's can't. It's like free. The, yeah, it's like the New England GI Joe show down in uh, Tewksbury, Mass. Uh, I think that's uh, June twenty fourth. It's not next weekend. It's the weekend after. Gotcha. Um, and then after that, I've got a show in portland maine that, that they invited me to it's like a new england uh, cosplay um show it's down it's up in portland maine that i'm gonna be doing for a couple of days and then the other big one that i'm doing that uh i did last year that they moved to i think milford mass is uh uh milton mass is um chris con mm-hmm. um there they just started a show they had their first show last year and it was just it was amazing the guy's like a collector but he's like kind of knows a lot of people in the industry so we got um Balaverse was there mythic legions was there i was there so this year we're kind of uh one of the featured um kind of vendors that's going to be there so oh, that's, that's gonna sweet. Be, uh, the last week of Ju- the last sunday of july so that's, that's july awesome 30. yeah and then of course PowerCon. yeah 
So, guys, if you guys are local, make it out to one of those cons and say what's up. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. Till next time, make sure to stay geeked up and geek out. Later. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate it.